The Bank of Canada announced that they will hold interest rates until 2023. But on the same day they announced it, RBC and TD slightly increased the five-year fixed rate. What? How does that work? I'm going to share with you right now. Let's do this. How's it going? My name is John and I'm a mortgage broker located in Vancouver and welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn ways to be approved for a mortgage, home buying tips and other mortgage related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. The Bank of Canada announced that they will not be increasing rates, but mortgage fixed rates went up on the same day. This may sound like the banks are doing something suspicious, but it boils down to economics and who actually controls the rates. When we talk about mortgage rates, it's usually either fixed or variable. You'll notice that for variable rates, the word prime rate always comes up. You'll always hear a variable rate referred as prime minus or plus something percent. The word prime rate is the rate that the Bank of Canada has control over. You'll often hear about the Bank of Canada will decrease, hold, or increase the overnight rate. That's the rate the Bank of Canada lends the money to the banks and then in return the bank lends the money to you. The financial institutions control their own prime rate, but it is heavily correlated with the overnight rate. If the Bank of Canada decreases the overnight rate, then very likely the prime rate will also decrease at the same rate as well. But what about fixed rates? Does the Bank of Canada control that as well? Yes and no. Generally, it doesn't. What actually controls the fixed rates is through the bond market. In economics, the bond market has an inverse relationship between its rate of return and price. If rates say goes up, prices goes down. And if rates go down, prices go up. The bond market is often viewed as a safer place for you to put your money in. That's why if you have investment advisor, the common portfolio allocation is 60% equities and 40% bonds. What happens is if there is a major shock to the equity or stock market, people pull out and put it into bonds. And if the stock market is looking like it'll produce safer and better returns, then people will sell their bonds and move their money into the stock market. But when people are pulling their money out of the stock market, the bond market will adjust and try to attract investors back to the bond market by offering a higher rate and a lower price. It's essentially adjusting to beg investors to come back and come back and invest with me, please. That's why when the economy is great, rates are higher. And when the economy is not doing so well, the rates are lower. But what is the Bank of Canada actually doing? Well, they're actually doing their best to control both the variable rate and the fixed rate. They have control already with variable rates, but here's how they're controlling fixed rates. You must have heard or read the news of the US printing money and participating in something called a quantitative easing program. It's just a very fancy way of saying they're printing lots and lots and lots of money. This is what Canada is doing right now. But what are they doing with all that money? Well, they're not giving it to me or, or you because I haven't received any money from Bank of Canada. What the Bank of Canada is doing is using all that money and buying bonds. Yes, they are printing money to artificially lower the fixed rate. The last time I checked, they were buying something like four billions of bonds a week. Now, why do they do that? Because if they didn't intervene, fixed rates will be skyrocketing. If you checked out the stock market lately, it's already back to pre-COVID levels and more. People are moving their money out of bonds into the equity market. The rate should rise because the bond market wants to attract these investors back. But that's not happening. 
the Bank of Canada is buying these bonds aggressively and keeping the bond rates and hence the fixed rates low. So if they're doing that, how come fixed rates still went up? It's because the rate of people leaving the bond market and putting their money into the stock market is happening at a way faster rate than the Bank of Canada. The Bank of Canada isn't printing money uh, fast enough and buying bonds fast enough. We've received news that has been very promising, such as vaccines, a new president, and so on. It has sent the stock market to record highs. So Bank of Canada will adjust accordingly to ensure they continue with printing money and buying back bonds more aggressively to keep the fixed rates at record lows. And there you go. We just explained why when the Bank of Canada says the hold rate steady, fixed rates still increase. So did you understand that? It's, it's quite technical. So if you have more questions, contact me or comment below. I love economics, so I can talk about this all day long. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more. Make sure you click on the notification bell so you won't miss a video. I'm John Lee, mortgage broker and CEO of Arise Mortgage. We are always achieving your approval.